All right, we're going to try this again because we have a storm here busted off in uh, San Diego right now. And so we are not equipped like you East Coasters for storms. And so my Wi-Fi is shaky. I hope that this is a better connection. Everybody can hop on here. I am Dr. Andre Pineset. I am the study doc. And today we're talking about using lecture effectively. Should you go? If you do go, how do you use it? And so forth. And we're going to have a nice discussion. We're going to hit the intro. We're going to get right to it. So everybody hop on here. This is the new live stream. Uh, the previous one was lagging. If you are on here, take a second and let me know the video is not lagging anymore. Let me know that you can hear me 2020. I think that's a thing, right? You can hear me, you can see me, and that we are connected and you're ready to learn today. But stop making excuses. Stop whining. Stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, Stuart says we're much better. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need, right? It's not lagging now. We are back. We are back live action. <laughs> what is up, Julian? Elisa, Rosanna, what is up? Julian, okay, we're all where we do things that aren't fruitful for us, things that uh, hold us back, things that hinder us, things that keep us from living our full potential. And it's a syndrome of learned helplessness where we learn things and we're told to do things and then we do these things without ever considering for ourselves if they're good for us. Are we still live action? I'm seeing now a drop off here. I just want to make sure we're still live action. Someone comment right now. Let me know we are not lagging, that you guys are still with me and we have not lost it. So I was just checking because I'm getting drop off. So I'm trying to see. I'm using here on the phone. Okay, we're still here. All right, perfect. Okay. So uh, from an early age, we're taught to go to lecture, to attend lecture. We get points for it. We get punished uh, if we don't go and on and on and on. And what happens is, is that we do this, we subliminally, right? We, we get these rewards. We get these punishments. Um, and so as these happen, it changes our behavior, right? We are simple creatures, right? We want the reward. We want to avoid the penalty. And so we do things. And attending lectures, one of those things that you guys are taught that isn't necessarily always helpful. And it's important that we look at it critically and say, what is this activity? And is it actually helping us? We are live action, guys. Dr. Pine said here, I'm going to wait for you guys to answer that question. What is the most limited commodity, the most limited resource we as students have in our lives? What limits us? What holds us back? What are you constantly running out of? What are you constantly lacking that hurts your academic performance? This is so important. And this is going to lead, right? It's going to feed our discussion of attending lecture. Bradford says time. Rosanna says time. Let's see what other people are going to say. Julian says ourselves. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Richard says time. Stewart says mindset. So back to ourselves. Uh, time. Uh, the, the common answer is actually time, is, is time. But the true answer, guys, is actually not time. Because what we fail to recognize is we actually have quite a bit. We kind of have quite a bit. Uh, of time in our lives, we just don't use it right, or the most limited resource we aren't using right, which is our focus. We lack focus. We all have a very limited ability to focus on tasks, get things done, get them done at a high level. And because of that, we spend an inordinate, a huge amount of our time unfocused, disengaged, not actively taking in information, not actively improving ourselves. And so it's that lack of focus and our ability to leverage that focus effectively that then leads us to think that time is our issue. But we actually have lots of time in the day. And I, I go through my students and about how many times, you, how much time you have in a week. And it's astonishing. People are like, oh my gosh, we have that much time in a week. Where does all this time go? It goes to you being unfocused. It goes to you being there, present in body, but not present in mind in what you're doing. And for me, this is what guides the discussion of lecture and what you should think about when you think about attending lecture is if I have a finite, a small amount, a limited amount of time that I can be highly focused, that I can get things done at a high level and feel good about it, I can retain, I can remember, then we want to make sure that we're spending our focus in a place, in time, that makes sense to us, allows us to get the most learning done. And the problem with lecture is that if we have a finite amount of time we can focus, is that if you go to lecture, if you attend lecture, what must you always do after lecture? 
The answer is you must review said lecture, said materials. You must read more. You must sharpen the notes. You must go in and clarify the overarching topics you were given in lecture. And this is because lecture, right, is a summary. It points you to the high yield things of a larger context of material. So you have to go and get the rest of that context. And so you add extra, extra things you have to do, extra focus you must have if you're going to be successful. And so what I would say to you guys, if you are a student and you lack focus, which is most students, wouldn't you be better served cutting out lecture, cutting out the middleman of lecture and getting right to the source? So instead of you know playing telephone game of, okay, the professor said this, and then I'm going to go read, or I'm going to go review, or I'm going to go watch some other things and then get other side, what if we went right to the direct material? Right? Then we would have less things to focus on, and we'd be able to be more focused. For many of you guys, when you sit down to study or read or whatever, you're unfocused because you've already burned up your focus with lecture. And so I encourage all of you guys to think about this and say, wait a minute. Am I irritated that I spent all this time in lecture all day, all my good focused hours, and now I get to the evening time, and I've got to sit down in front of my book, and I've got to study, but I'm feeling unfocused. I'm feeling highly distracted. I'm feeling kind of tired, right? I've used up all my day in lecture. And for many students, that's the case. And so what I would put to you is that going to lecture is not the most fruitful use of your time. However... If you are a student and you set up your studying to be that you're able to focus in lecture and then also when you go to review or whatever, then you can go to lecture. But for most students, we're not there yet. So what I would advise students to do is to take a step back, see if you really need that lecture, that crutch. As people say, going to lecture feeds into people pleasing, right? Oh my gosh, this feels so good. It feels so amazing. I'm learning so much. But the reality is you have to learn it on your own. So what if you took a step back, you took the time to develop the skill to say, listen, I'm going to be an independent student. I'm going to be able to be my own lecturer. I'm going to be able to learn effectively and be able to focus all my energy, laser focused into reading, into learning independently. Would I be a higher level student? Would I learn more? Would I be a happier student? And it turns out for most students, that's the case. And so I actually instruct most of my students not to go to lecture because they find that they are more focused when they study if they aren't going to lecture. And therefore, because they're more focused when they do study independently, they learn more. And because they're able to learn more in less time, what you find is, is that you create in our mind the perception of more free time. And so now we have more freedom. We feel better about our lives. Like, yes, I have all this time to do whatever I want to do. And so we're happier. We're more well-rounded students because we do things outside the classroom and we don't feel like our time is wasted. How many of you guys feel like you go to lecture and you feel like, oh, and I wasted that hour. I wasted those two hours. On those hours, I'll never get back. Well, you'll never feel that way if you're not attending lecture. And so I want you guys, that's kind of the takeaway from today. We're not going to go for too long, um, but I want you guys to start thinking about and understanding that time is not your limited resource. Focus is. And ask yourself, are you doing things that dilute your focus? One of which can be lecture. Because lecture always requires further review, further study. So what if we cut out the middleman and used our focus in this essential area of review, this essential area of reading, would you be a better student? Would you be a more efficient student? Would your grades improve? And exactly, lecture becomes that social hour and that networking time. And maybe that's a pro for you. Maybe you want to see those people. You want to connect with your classmates. But for me, well, the only time I ever went to lecture was when I wanted to catch up with people. I would go to whatever and catch up. And it was really a fun experience. It was much more rewarding for that social aspect because I was already prepared because I had already really studied. I didn't really need the lecture. I was just going to hang out, you know, in college. Again, this is college, me, not me now. You go, you hang out with the ladies, right? Ladies, muchachas, mujeres, right? The ladies. I would go hang out with the ladies. And then I would go back home and get my studying done. But I could enjoy talking to them, trying to get a phone number. This is back then you had to ask people for a phone number. Now you have to move to social media. I think you had to ask people for their seven digits. You say, hey, listen, can I, get your, can I get your aim? What's your aim tag, right? You had to figure out what's going on. But that's what I would advise you guys to do. Um, I hope you guys have a great evening. Uh, we'll be back more regularly on Tuesdays. Uh, we'll be doing some Thursday videos, a lot more content coming for you guys. Make sure you guys tune in. We've got the YouTube channel, we got the podcast. we got me across all other networks at The Study Doc. 
Um, for my students who are in TPT, we're going to be live action with coaching in just a couple minutes at 530. If you did not get an email about coaching tonight and the total pre-health transformation, please send me an email right now so I can get you the Zoom link so we can get on to coaching tonight so we can talk. Well, we're going to go really into depth about studying and then also we're going to answer your guys' questions and coach you guys. So I'll see you all in TPT shortly. Thank you so much for joining me. If you were not in TPT, if you're like, what the heck is TPT? Get to my website, thestudydoc.com. Check out TPT. It's an amazing courses, coaching, oh, awesomeness to help you be a stellar pre-health student to reach your potential and achieve your goals, guys. So have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, you want to share it with somebody else, share it with them. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. That's it for another episode of the Study Doc Show. Show your love by smashing the like button and commenting in the box below. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses. No more complaining. You're going to take your future into your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better? Get to my website, thestudydoc.com. Grab a free ebook, sign up for a free webinar, and if you're really ready to transform, enroll in one of my life changing courses or coaching programs. You have greatness inside you. Let me show you how to unlock it so you can dominate and make your dreams a reality.